Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Jordan Mowbray and no this video is not clickbait. My new DJI Mavic Pro 2 actually fell from about 20 feet up in the air into a cornfield. Looks pretty good considering all that. Um, you'll have to stick tuned for that video right after this. I do want to point out that I will be giving away one of these new DJI Mavic Pro 2s and a GoPro Hero 6. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment down below if you want the GoPro Hero 6 or the DJI Mavic Pro 2. So now, on to the first DJI Mavic Pro 2 crash using DJI's OcuSync 2.0. Let's go take a look and see what happened. Well, it doesn't track very good when it runs into power lines. So that's my first crash ever with one of DJI's products. Let's go ahead, see if we can get it, see if there's any damage done. All right, let's see if I can go ahead, get a clip of the stitch here. It's not too much water in it. Let's flip it over. Actually, does not look like there is any damage really besides just a little bit of dirt and mud on it. But I actually don't think there is anything wrong with it at all. Go ahead, turn it off here. It's a little warm. Bottom looks perfectly fine. All right, it's starting to rain a little bit now, so I'm gonna go ahead, get this back in the house. Get it uh, cleaned up and see if it still flies like normal. I think we're gonna be fine, but um, that was kind of surprising. I'm going to have to go back review the footage. I don't know if it just lost tracking or whatnot, but it should have been tracking me from the side, not trying to go over to the opposite side of me and track me from over there. I guess one thing's for sure, you definitely know that the sensors will not pick up objects as thin as power lines, so there it is. There's the damage. I'd say not too much damage. We'll see what it looks like after we get it cleaned up. All right, I'm very surprised to see that the DJI Mavic Pro 2 acted in that way. Uh, I'll probably send in these logs to DJI and see if they can find out what actually happened, why it was following me on the left-hand side, and then all of a sudden decide to track me over on the right-hand side and ran right into those power lines. Um, doesn't look like there's much damage to it um, from falling from maybe 20 feet high. I just uh, took a dry rag, wiped it off real quick, um, there's a little bit of mud on it. Um, we'll let it dry out a little bit more and then um, take another rag and kind of wipe off some of these uh, mud spots on it. But so far, the only marks that I can even really see, you guys probably won't even be able to see these really. There's a little tiny marks right here on the leg. Um, and then the prop, this looks like the prop that hit the wire right here. You can see the tips are a little black on each side. And then right here on the side of the battery, just two little indents. Um, other than that, just some grass stains on the battery. Nothing that even looks like it will even be really noticeable after I take a wet rag and kind of wipe off all these mud spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if this thing still works. Um, I haven't changed anything on it. Still the same battery I was using out there. I know I'm probably gonna catch a lot of slack for flying this inside, especially after just crashing it, but it's raining outside and I just want to see if it still will take off and just hover in this area down here. So let's just go see if it will go up, hover, stay at that altitude, and then I'll bring it back down and see if it throws any airs on the remote. I think it's going to be perfectly fine. Um, I know I'm probably going to catch a lot of slack for doing what I did, um, active track mode. Uh, but hey, that's what these drones are for. They're made to track people. 
I could have maybe avoided it if I grabbed the remote fast enough and dropped it down below the power lines or took control back over it and moved it to the side, but this is what testing is for. I did this maneuver perfectly fine yesterday and did not have this issue, so let's go right ahead and see if this thing takes off. Connecting. EMMC full it says on the remote. I assume that means that the 8 gigabyte internal memory is now full. Um, it's actually picking up seven uh, GPS locks down here in the basement. It says I'm ready to go on vision. I'm not seeing any other airs on here. Looks like the Vision sensors are all popping up fine. It's seeing everything in front behind me. I'm going to go ahead, go in the remote and turn the sensors off so it doesn't try avoiding things above it, below it, and on each side. I don't want it try doing this in this close quarters. So disable obstacle avoidance. And now we should be ready to go. Um, let's just go in that direction and I'll back away a little bit and See if it goes up in the air. Perfectly fine. That's pretty amazing. Like nothing even happened to it. I'm definitely impressed by DJI's quality on this. I think if my last uh, Mavic Pro fell from that height, probably would have did some damage. Maybe broke an arm. Definitely broke the props. Surprise those props um, hitting that wire. Did not snap it at all. Literally just made some little marks on here. Um, they're really not even chipped. I'll probably replace these before I go flying again anyways just to make sure that everything's going good. Um, Camera looks perfectly fine as well. Everything's moving good there. I'm not sure if this is the first DJI Mavic Pro 2 crash, but I'm sure it won't be the last. Uh, some lessons learned from this is I'm definitely not going to trust it as much as I would have in the past. I had full um, trust in this thing that it wasn't going to run into anything. I guess the other lesson is don't fly it around wires. Um, it definitely is not going to see a power line or any wires smaller than that. It was able to see a pole that was about an inch and a half diameter, so I think you're fine there. But maybe if I was moving a little bit slower, it definitely wouldn't have did that. Um, I definitely probably won't try tracking a moving object like a vehicle in the future again. But I think if you're tracking a person, there's nothing to worry about. Um, you could fly around pretty much anything, any branches, and this thing will avoid it perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm uh, going to go ahead get this thing cleaned up some more and I'm gonna be doing some more testing with this. Um, I'm gonna see if it will track a DJI Mavic Pro, the first original DJI Mavic Pro with this DJI Mavic Pro 2 and see how good it does at keeping up with that drone. Um, I think it will do pretty good. I'm gonna have them up in the air a little bit more so there's not gonna be a chance of running into wires, anything like that. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that video. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next videos I will be posting and leave your questions, comments, and suggestions below.